Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Char. Today I want to show you guys, I went the other day, I didn't have time to do a haul the other day, so I'm going to do one right now. I went to um, Bath and Body Works and of course I'm a candle fanatic like everybody else on YouTube. So I went and I wanted to pick out the ones that I enjoyed the smell and that were pleasing to me and share with you guys which ones I uh, bought. And if you have gotten any of the candles and you're on the candle haul uh, thing, uh, let me know which ones you've got. Comment below. Okay, so let's start off. I have the cinnamon sugar donut. And this one smells so good. See? Cinnamon sugar donut. This one smells exactly what it what it is cinnamon and sugar i love cinnamon um cinnamon just really do, and brown sugar when it's cooked it smells so pleasant uh this one reminds me of if you've ever seen those farmer markets um like little stores attached to a farmer market especially when it's like in the fall they do these little tiny cinnamon donuts they fry the dough they have their little tiny donuts and then they put them in a bag and they shake them with cinnamon and sugar and um this is what that smells like so i really 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 gravitated to this one i said i gotta get this one so this one smells really good can't wait to use it okay the next pick that i've chosen um the pumpkin apple this one Oh my goodness, I love, it smells just like a pumpkin and an apple. The apple really sweetens it up. If you're not a person who likes a lot of sweet scents, like I do, I love sweet scents. If you're not a person that likes sweet scents, you're not going to like this. But if you don't mind sweet scents, and especially when you can identify the scent, uh, it is an apple and it is a pumpkin, you will like it. It's, it's really, really good. Very pleasant. I love the front of it with a little squirrel there so cute and so folly so that was one of my pick the pumpkin apple I really enjoyed that scent okay so next we have here I chose this one because everybody was going mad about this particular candle this scent and this is the marshmallow fireside that's the marshmallow fireside and it's funny because the color of it is like a gray white blend so it's like marshmallow on the fireside anyway it smells exactly when I tell you guys they mastered this scent where you smell the fireside and you smell the marshmallow and they combined it you would think how is that but let me tell you, it smells so so good and I can't wait to um, use this one and just smell it throughout the house Okay, the next one I have here is, okay, I've shown you the marshmallow pie side, pumpkin apple, and the cinnamon sugar donut. Okay, so last but not least, and that doesn't mean I'm not going to go back and get more because they had some um, scents that were out. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and get a couple more, especially when they're on sale. You guys, if you go and get these candles, make sure you check online first, especially if they send you email check online and see if these candles are on sale because each one of these candles are $22.50. I got them half price the other day. Okay, so the next one I have here is a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. My son, I bought this one actually for my son. Uh, he was like, oh my God, I really do like that. And I said, I'm going to give you a treat. This smells just like a pumpkin pie. If you walk into someone's house and they're making pumpkin pie or whatever uh, this is what that smells like pumpkin pie it's very very pleasant so that's my haul from um i always want to say bath and body works it is bath and body works i usually say uh bed bath and beyond and i don't know why i say that but i got it right it is bath and body works okay so that's my haul from bath and body works also when you go and you purchase they usually put coupons this one's for a free body care item i'm definitely going to use that and also the young lady who um rang my stuff up this is preparing us for the christmas ones and look at those coupons i will be using those i thought that that was very nice 
and it's just showing you what the new ones uh, that are coming in are looking at and th they have one um, free item of your choice ten dollars or more a ten dollar off of thirty and then save twenty percent off your total um, purchase so I'm all about coupons honey I love couponing so that was that today also in here in California we have a store called the 99 cent store I am addicted to the 99 cent store I've been addicted to the 99 cent store since they first opened and I believe if I'm not mistaken the first one was in Pasadena California um, it started off as just simple little uh, you can get like um, uh, paper a lot of school items um, they went from that to just I mean where they are now it is extremely advanced and if you go in there you can find some really good items from the 99 cent store I found organic stuff I found um, gluten-free items um, but I would suggest you check the date uh, check the date on the items a lot of times you you have to be careful with that but me I found good dates if the date is not a good date I don't mess with it but I've had I found organic salads that you would find at Whole Foods I found big organic salad and I knew that they were fresh because they were green as ever um, so it, 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 you can find little trinkets today when I was there I found this monthly planner 2017 monthly planner how cute is that look at the color and the gold and inside I want to show you the inside they have like a little personal information page and then let's see here 2017-2018 uh, page and they have like the car rental airlines and hotels um what else let's see here So they have the calendar starting from January and what I love about this I'm going to use this starting in January even though I'm planning on getting this um, one planner that I really want from Anthropology. Um, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on when it when they'll have more in stock uh, but this one is a good start for 2017 if you're doing usually every year I do like um, a Bible reading I start reading the Bible for the entire year now I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you that I have finished it my son has finished it for the last past three years but me I always fail at finishing reading the Bible in a whole year but I still read the Bible every day but not in uh, the um, how they have it each day for the whole year what you're supposed to be reading the plan so I end up going off and doing my own plan and that's my goal this year in 2017 is to accomplish reading the Bible in its entirety throughout the entire year but another thing that this can be very good for is an eating chart each day you can write in each one of these boxes what you ate um, and that's what I choose to do. Uh, I'm going to probably, that's the planner that I'm getting from, the planner that I'm getting from Anthropology. That's the one that I'm going to do with what I ate and, and what time I exercised and everything. But with the Bible reading, I want to show you guys what I do with the Bible reading. Can you pass me? This is a book, a uh, Bible, <laughs> not just a book, the book. But this is a Bible, um that I bought for myself is uh, by Charles F. Stanley Life Principles Daily Bible. He's a pastor down in Atlanta, Georgia and uh, with First Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. Actually, he was here in the state of California last night at the Grove signing a new book that he did. I hate I missed it. I had to work. But anyway, this is his Life Principle Bible and what I love about this Bible going in with this is that you each day this Bible has a reading for you each day like in Gen it goes through Genesis if you see there I don't know if you can see that Genesis and then it have life principle example uh, then it'll go for like if it was January 15th that's what I will be reading on January 15th um, and then it goes through let me see what is this one yeah, so it's going through Genesis, 
on the 15th it's going to be Genesis 30th and then what I love about it this is what I want to show you it does Psalms and Proverbs as you see there and then if you look down it does Matthew so each day it's the Old and New Testament is Psalms and Proverbs and then the pastor speaks about life lessons in here and life principles to help you stay on track because why we're human and we get off track. I get off track all the time. I'm always like, Lord, please forgive me, Jesus, Lord. I get off track all the time. Anyway, so I wanted to use this with this. And I'm going to get, like I said, the one. I will be showing you guys um, when I get that planner from Anthropology. I will be showing you that when I get that planner. But this one, if you guys live in Texas, I believe, Arizona, I believe Las Vegas, I know for sure. California stop by your local 99 cent store and maybe you can find this because I do know each 99 cent store they do have different trinkets but let me tell you when you find little little trinkets little jewels like that you better grab it because you're not going to see it anymore so anyway uh what else I hope you guys are having a good day I had a good day other than it being so hot here in Southern California. I was at uh, one of the places that I love to hike and the ranger and I, we're good friends, he's good friends with me and my family. He told us this was one of the worst summers ever all around uh, the, the country and especially in the state of California. And we really need help here because of our drought and not having enough water. It is really, 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 really sad. But I'm praying that God gives us a nice fall and that we can get some rain. We have not had rain. You guys, if I feel a drop, I get so excited and then turn around and look and it's a sprinkler. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, can we get some rain, Lord? The other day, last week, it was so funny. The newscaster was like, yeah, we're going to have some rain. And I was like, oh my God, finally some rain. I want clouds. I want thunder and light. I want some rain. You guys will not believe on the day that the rain came. I promise you. I can find, I can count eight raindrops on my windshield. Eight. And that was it. That was like three minutes and that was it. I was so like, I was like, Lord, what did we do? <laughs> anyway, so I'm praying that we, we get some rain this fall. And those of you who have uh, been going through the floods, I pray for you. I pray for your family. I pray for your homes. You know, uh, flooding is horrible experience. Just like out here in California, the fires. It's just every place has a disaster. And it's just, you know, we got to pray every day that just God protects us. And when things happen, we got to come together and we got to love each other and support each other because ultimately that's what God wants us to do. We supposed to love each other no matter what. Your blood is red. He does not see color. He does not see. He loves everybody. So anyway, um, that's my haul for tonight. I wanted to do a haul for you guys before I um, turned in. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. I hope you guys liked the flag, um, at the 9-11 flag. Check that out if you haven't seen it. And also, if you like my uh, vlogs, please subscribe below. Say hi. I would love to say hello. <laughs> and uh, you guys have a blessed evening. And God bless. See you soon.